Cool. Uh, this is Freddie. I'm, I'm um, engineer manager at Sentinel team. Um, so our team provides software services and data set uh, for monitoring and analysis of the Filecoin uh, blockchain. So uh, we have been working on an effort to um, store all the historical blockchain data uh, in BigQuery using our software and uh, the full archive for snapshot since Genesis. So in this demo, I will um, just quickly demonstrate how can we query um, the data. So the, the data set uh, in BigQuery um, is a public data set. So anyone with the URL um, and a valid Google Cloud um, account should be able to open and query it. But you will, be, you will, you will need to pay for the compute uh, since we um, we don't want to be responsible for, for anyone's uh, compute expenses. So once you um, have access to a data, uh, data set, you can see uh, it's this one, Lily. So it has all the tables uh, extracted from um, our Lily software. So um, we'll, go, we'll, we'll, we'll use the, the most common use one, uh, derived gas output. So this table contains all the gas consumption for every single message that uh, that's happened uh, on our blockchain. Okay, so here's the table schema. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about table schema, uh, feel free to go to our uh, Lily documentation website. Um, it has a very comprehensive um, model documents here. Okay, let's go back here. So um, here I'll try to demonstrate how we want we can get um, the base fee and the average base fee and then the average total cost per message um, for every single day since Genesis. Um, so I'm not sure how people familiar uh, familiar with SQL query, but here we try to group uh, the height by um, by date. So we divide it by 2,880 and then 10 times, times it back. So um, all the messages on, in, happen in the same day will be grouped together. And then we, we calculate the average base fee round and the total cost. Total cost is cal uh, calculated by adding base fee, minor tips, and overestimated burns. And we divide, and since the unit here is the ATO field, so we divide it by uh, 10 to 18. And also the, the work condition here, we only want to filter the successfully um, um, accepted messages. So the exit code is zero. Okay, so we can run the query here. Okay, so here's the result. Let's look at the drop information. So you can see that um, this query scan all the, um, the does a tip full table scan of derived gas output. So it scanned around 60 gig of uh, data. Um, and uh, if you're interested, you can check out the execution prep to see how, um, how many rows is scanned here. You can see that we scan 1 billion rows from a table. And it does aggregation, uh, basic computation and aggregation, and then generate the results. Okay, so from the result, we can easily um, visualize the data, click on Explore with Sheet, connect with the BigQuery uh, result in the Google spreadsheet. Here we can create a chart. It's creating a new, new sheet. Um, select line graph, time, and we select both the uh, metrics. Let's sort it by time and see how it renders. Okay, you can see um, it's a little bit weird because in the beginning of the network, the, the fee might not look normal. So let's try to add some filtering here. So we expect the average cost should, be, should not be more than one field. So let's filter anything beyond that, and apply the filter. So here it is. Uh, it's a full his historical um, data 
for the average um, gas fee. So you can see after the uh, FEBN launch, we do see an up, uptick trend. Um, but, but keep in mind that this query is, is just um, for demo purpose. Uh, you usually want to filter filter out, uh, filter out it by the, the type of message that's applied to the blockchain instead of like doing the uh, average across all messages. Okay, um, let's look at another example. So we have the, uh, we have FEV, FEVN specific tables here. You can see the FEVN actor states, block headers, contract, etc. cetera. So uh, let's see, um, let's say we want to know how many transactions, FEVN transaction per day since the, uh, the network upgrade, the FEVN launch. So here we do the similar query, uh, but, but just counting the number of rows. And here we filter out the height based on the FEVN launch epoch. So let's run this. Okay, cool. We have result. Let's check it out in the Google Sheet. Again, let's pick uh, our chart. No stacking, section sorted by time. All right, here's all the number of transactions uh, per day. Um, there's some missing dates. Uh, we are still backfilling the data, but it should be complete uh, very, very soon. Cool. Uh, I think that sum up the demo today from, from our team. Feel free to reach out uh, on Slack, uh, Phil dash Sentinel, um, or yeah, or ping me directly on Slack or via email. I'll be more than happy to answer your question. Mm -hmm.